I'll show you guys how to find the volume of an object using a method called displacement. What you'll need is a graduated cylinder, already has some liquid inside of it. Uh, not enough that it will overflow if you put the object in, but enough to completely submerge the object. You will also need the object. I'm just going to be using clay for this and I have attached it to a string so that way I can pull it back. So the first step when finding the volume of an object using displacement is to first read the initial volume that is in the graduated cylinder. And we do this by using these marks on there called gradations, again why it's called a graduated cylinder, on the side. Now, whenever we're measuring the volume of a liquid in a graduated cylinder, we want to use what is called the meniscus, which is the lowest point. Water, when it's put into a graduated cylinder, naturally dips down because of water tension. You want to find the lowest point of that uh, dip there, and that is where you're going to measure the volume. So, if I looked at the amount of water in a graduated cylinder as so, you'll see that the water kind of dips down like that. That part is called the meniscus. So look for that, that's where you'll measure the volume. So in a graduated cylinder, the volume is measured by milliliters. I can see here, if I look at the meniscus, it's about 41 milliliters. Right? So I'm gonna go ahead and write 41 milliliters right here. Right. So the next step is to go ahead and submerge the object. So when an object is put into a liquid or into water, it pushes the water out of the way uh, if it's not absorbing the water. So in this case, clay will not absorb the water, it will push the water out of the way. And as you can see, as the water or as the object is submerged, it will raise the level of the liquid. Right? Because the water is being pushed out of the way, it has nowhere else to go but up. So looking at that again, I'm going to measure again at the meniscus. It looks like about 63 to me. So let's go ahead and put that up there. So again, the new water level is about 63 milliliters. So I have a before and an after. Okay. So what I need to know now is how far the water went up. Because the same amount of water that got pushed up is the same amount of volume that the object has. So I'm going to use this formula. After the after measurement, subtract the before measurement, and that will give you the difference between the two or the volume of the object. So in this case, the after was 63 milliliters, and the before was 41 milliliters. I'm going to subtract the two, and in my head that's about 22. So the volume of the object is going to be 22, but never forget to put your units in there. Otherwise, it's just 22 nothings, and that means nothing to me. All right, so that is finding volume by displacement. Hopefully that was helpful to you guys. Let's go ahead and try it out.